up y'all tank dipper here um we just caught us a mess of crappie um i caught 39 of them and me and my buddy did both we're gonna be sitting i'm gonna sit here and tell you teach you how to clean one of these bastards all right so let's see here oh one sec We'll do this. Good old crappie from Missouri. All right, let's get the fillet knife ready. Before I do this, we can pop a dip in. Mm. The flavor of fish is so fantastic. Those are split up, by the way. That's only 19 crappie there. I caught most of them, but he didn't, he only caught probably 10, 15 of them, but we just decided to split them. All right, so here we go. So you got this fin right here on the fish, right? Copy are real easy. What you're going to do, take your fillet knife, get that fin right behind it, right behind that little fin there. But don't go too far up because you don't want to cut right here. Right here is the skull. You want to cut at an angle, you don't want to cut just straight because there's a lot of meat up here. Alright, so you want to take it about right there. Just go down, not too far, not too hard. Just enough. Okay, and then right here, you're going to come to the spine. What you want to do is you want to just cut right next to those stingers right there right down here all the way to the tail you want you want to keep your knife at a downward angle but just level enough to where it doesn't keep cutting down you want to kind of go right on the side of the uh, spine all right so we're just gonna do that here all right made the first cut first cut you kind of have to angle down a little bit and go straight as you do it kind of like that okay and this is just going to come right here to the tail and then right here is going to come right up under those fins to the tail okay okay now that make sure you slow down a little bit right here because you don't want to just cut it off it's in that way you won't be able to get all these scales and skin off so that one wasn't too bad real good real good there ain't no meat right there okay okay and then you want to pull your fish back so you have room and this is kind of the hard part you just want to keep your knife level you're going to be bending the blade just a little bit not not a whole lot but right there ain't no meat left behind okay now once you get that part done Flip that piece of meat over. And then you got this rib cage right here. Right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut slantward in next to those ribs. Just like that. And see here's meat right here. You're gonna cut right next to those ribs. Cut right here. Okay. Okay, right here. And then you throw your guts somewhere. And right there you got a nice piece of meat. You always want to check your meat for worms real quick. Same way on the other side. Except it's going to be facing towards you. Okay. About right here. Oh, just cut straight down. Right there, sweet, nice. Okay. 
angle your knife a little bit. This one has a lot of eggs in it. Okay. And that's how you fillet a crappie. Let's see how we're doing on time. Five minutes. Probably get one or two more done. Okay, and then once you do that, you are done with that fish, sir. Crappie are probably the easiest fish to clean up, I'd say. Nice piece of meat. You want yourself a bucket of water right here. You want to put salt in it. Don't ask why, because I don't know. But that's what my mom told me to do. Some people might do, not do that. I don't know. Let's get another one. Let's get a big one. How about this really cool blue one? Blue looking one. Probably the biggest one we caught all day. It doesn't, it doesn't touch. It doesn't touch my other fish. I wish I would have taken a video of that. Okay, got that. You don't want to cut this off, just be courteous. Okay, a few little jolts in there, get through those bones up there. Okay, then you just gotta cut right, right down here. Just watch. I almost cut too far on that one, see? Flip it over. You don't have to do it real hard. Nice and easy. Take your time. Nice and easy. Check that piece of meat out. Check that fillet out. Oops, got a little skin there. I don't like skin. Don't like skin at all. Grosses me out. Don't know why. Just does. Trying not to butcher this piece while I'm getting the skin. A little fish flopping over here still alive. Get this little piece over right here. That's good enough for me. Okay. Nice piece of meat. Nice piece of meat. You want to feel for the ribs. Too. Nobody likes eating ribs. Just make sure you didn't miss any. Flip that uh, thing back. Your knife angled at a slant. Perfect. Angle your knife up a little bit. Nice, nice fillet. 
Now right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's still a little bit of me right here. Up here, right here. That's just because I raised up my knife a little bit. You make sure you don't raise up your knife a whole lot, because you will be able to tell. Two down. Seventeen more to go. Be out here for an hour. If if they're a little littler piece of meat, you see how this meat comes up here right next to these ribs. If it's a little piece of meat and there ain't a lot of meat to save right there, you can just cut it off. That's what I usually do. So there you go. I hope that kind of helped you a little bit on how to clean uh, how to clean some uh, bass or some crappie. Um, so I'm gonna get all these done, and then I am gonna go downstairs and uh, probably go to bed. All right, y'all. See you later. Um, y'all go catch some freaking crappie. Go catch some fish. Fish is great therapy. Okay. Um, we'll see all you, all you, all you, all you, all you, sorry, CD skip. See y'all later. Keep it on the dip side.